Connecting the Dots, Reliving Northwood's History with Carrie Bladorn. The 420 mile long Wisconsin River has been described as the hardest working river in the world. It may be deserved as it has 25 hydroelectric dams, more than any other river in the United States. A vast majority of the power produced by the mighty Wisconsin River is generated on the upper part and no other dam on the waterway provides more electricity annually than Grandfather Falls. A series of rapids on the Wisconsin River was named by fur traders and voyagers in the early 1800s, starting in Mosinee with Little Bull Falls, Big Bull Falls in Wassa, and Jenny Bull Falls in Merrill. As they traveled north of Merrill, they came upon the largest falls on the Wisconsin River and called it Grandfather Bull Falls. Grandmother Bull Falls completes the series just north of Grandfather. Grandfather Bull Falls, located between Merrill and Tomahawk, drops approximately 90 feet in a mile. The sound of the water crashing over its gauntlet of rocks and boulders could be heard for miles around. The Ojibwa people living in the area called it Kanajuwan, or the Long Falls. Commonly known as Grandfather Falls today, its rapids became an impediment to logging interest in the mid-1800s, as it was impossible to float logs north of the falls to sawmills downriver. In 1876, three dams were built by Simon Sherman, used to create deeper water so logs could float over the rocky Grandfather Falls. Still, many log jams occurred, including one reported to have 80 million feet of logs backed up for a mile. Even before the railroads into the Northwoods solved the logging conundrum at Grandfather Falls, people knew the powers of the Wisconsin River would someday be harnessed. In 1880, Peter Champagne built a dam at Grandfather Falls used to power a sawmill. For a time, a small town grew up at the site called Champagne, which served the mill workers, river drive crews, and those traveling the Riverside Wagon Road into the Northwoods frontier. As railroads were developed, the lumber industry bypassed Grandfather Falls altogether. And as communities like Champaign became a footnote, towns like Tomahawk and Rhinelander boomed. After the turn of the century, the North Woods was becoming electrified with the rest of the country. Grandfather Falls would be in the sights of businessmen once again. The first hydroelectric dam at Grandfather Falls was completed near the top of the rapids in 1908. With three generators, it produced 4,800 horsepower, or three megawatts of electricity. In 1936, the Wisconsin Public Service Corporation purchased the existing dam at Grandfather Falls from the Grandfather Falls Paper Company and developed a plan to leash the full potential power of the entire drop of the river. In 1938, construction of a larger hydropower plant began at the falls. The plan included building a canal to divert the river into two giant tubes known as penstocks. These large pipes were made out of western redwood staves banded by steel hoops, much like a barrel. The pair of penstocks were 1,315 feet long, one being 11 feet in diameter, the other 13 feet 6 inches in diameter, with a drop of 95 feet. The water was piped through two new generators in a new powerhouse built south of the original dam. The new plant produced 24,150 horsepower, or 17 megawatts, four times the original dam's power. Although some water spraying from the wooden penstocks was normal during their use, after 37 years, the redwood pipes were leaking badly under the immense water pressure. In 1975, the penstocks were replaced by another set of wooden pipes, this time made of southern yellow pine. They served well for another 42 years when the time came to upgrade them yet again. In 2017, WPS built two new penstocks, the same size as the previous ones, but this time made of steel increasing the plant's efficiency as they don't leak. They carry the water one-third of a mile across the landscape with a drop of 95 feet. The new penstocks have a lifespan of 80 years, assuring the water at Grandfather Falls continues producing electricity for decades to come. Today, the Ice Age Trail travels past both the upper and lower dams. Hikers can get an up-close look at this beautiful section of the Wisconsin River and the Grandfather Falls hydroelectric facility. A section of the 1975 penstocks was put on display and shows the size of the amazing feats of engineering. The hydro plant at Grandfather Falls produces 101,692 megawatts of power per year and provides electricity that can power nearly 34,000 homes, making it the most powerful dam on the Wisconsin River and an amazing source of renewable energy. From log drives to dams and engineering to electricity, 
Grandfather Falls is a great place for Northwoods history. I'm Carrie Bladorn, and this is Connecting the Dots on Newswatch 12. Connecting the Dots, reliving Northwoods history with Carrie Bladorn. Thank you for watching Connecting the Dots, Reliving Northwoods History. If you have some history you'd like to see covered on the program, send me a message on my Facebook page, Carrie Bladorn, Northwoods Historian, or shoot me an email at northwoodshistorian at gmail.com.